Good morning, YouTube. This is Jamerica5288, and guess what? I made a mess on my glass top stove. So today, we're going to try to get it as clean as possible, as easy as possible. Just a second. What we need is some hydrogen peroxide, some dishwashing liquid. Let me cover the thing. And some baking soda. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the dishwashing liquid, oh, and either paper towels or dish rag. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put some soap on the stove. And you can see this thing is really burnt. Let me turn this light on so you can see what I did. I burnt stuff on this glass top. And it takes a while to get it up, scrubbing it with a, they say to use a razor and all that stuff. Uh-huh. I may not get it completely clean, but I'm gonna get it close. Okay, so I got my um, soap on there, right? Next thing I'm gonna take is a spoon and I'm gonna take my baking soda, baking soda. Doesn't have to be Arm & Hammer, just break baking soda. I don't know if anybody else makes baking soda except Arm & Hammer. And I'm gonna sprinkle it on my glass top, I got some on the floor. <laughs> I'm gonna spread it out. Spread it out on my glass top. And get it on the ones that's burnt the most. I guess I cook on this side more. Well, I cook my coffee on this side more. I walk away and then the coffee just spill over. It runneth over. <laughs> time I get to it, it's too late. It's already scorched all over the stove. Apparently, I've been done doing it a couple of times. Get my shirt up off of here. All right, I'm going to move this stuff around. Make sure I get a coating of baking soda on this glass top. I ain't going to be fighting with this thing. I ain't got time for that. I'm going to be fighting with this stove. I thought that this one will be easier to clean. That's why I was like, oh, a glass top, that's what I'll do. Well, not true. It burns onto the glass. Hey, those of you who have one and cook a lot will know exactly what I'm talking about. Get them brown spots on here and they are, they are imp almost impossible to get off. But this, this, this method, it gets most of it off, most of it. I may not get all, as I said, but I'll get most. That's all I'm striving for. I'm doing the best and I forget the rest. Then I'm going to take my dish rag or my dish towel and cover up. I want to cover up, especially the burners that are, are really bad. These two on this side. All right. And you're going to take your hydrogen peroxide and pour it over the dish rag, liberally. Hydrogen peroxide is not that expensive, so I don't care. And what the hydrogen peroxide does, forget this, is eats off all that burnt up material. That and the baking soda. I'm just soaking my rag. Just soaking this rag. And we're just gonna leave this on here for a few minutes. And I say about 20, 30 minutes, and then I'll be back, okay? My hand is sticky, but I'm, hey. <laughs> My hand is sticky, but I'm trying, I'm trying. <laughs> I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, it's been 30 minutes. Even the dish rag has turned bubbly. Look at that. That is foam. <laughs> Cause it's yamming off. That's a West Indian term. Yamming off the, um, all the grit and the grime. Went over to the sink. <laughs> I had to mop the floor anyway, so I ain't worried about it. <laughs> Squeeze out my dish rag. Y'all can't see me, but that's what I'm doing. I'm wringing it out. Start sopping this stuff up. Ooh, that hydrogen peroxide is getting me. I, I had a blister on my hand. <laughs> and it's fixing that, I guess. It's helping me out. I don't want to be helped out or in pain at this moment. But that's what's happening. 
It says God's doing, God's will. <laughs> All right, I got to go back over and squeeze this stuff out. Let's do it again. Stop it up. I have my mop out everything. It started dripping, foaming, and dripping over the side. And I'll wipe it up. Going to be all right. Everything is going to be all right. It's the easy way to clean the stove, believe it or not. The last top. It might work for those um, silver pans in, a, in, you know, the pans that go on the other electric oven, the drip pan. When I had that, I used to put foil on it. And then when it, the foil got dirty, I just throw it away because those things were hard to clean too. And I got tired of replacing them at going to Lowe's and spending, at that time, I think it was $7, but it's probably way more now. Wipe this thing off again. drastic difference this is a drastic difference it's not perfect but it's way better than it was get all the rest of the stuff up off of here let me do that to the inside of the oven i'll do that another day i'm gonna do the self-cleaning on the stove i do that when i want to sanitize my um my pans, like if my pans fall on the floor or anything or touches the floor and I feel like they, they need to be disinfected. I just put the oven on self clean and let everything burn up. Wash the pan up of course before I use it, but that's how I disinfect my pans along with my oven, put it on self cleaning. I don't know if that's the right way or not, but that's the way I do it. Get this thing squeezed out. Now, while y'all weren't looking, I also put my sponge on this stove and got some of that stuff on there to kill the bacteria in the sponge. That is not soap on that sponge. That's the hydrogen peroxide and the um, baking soda eating that, eating whatever, because this sponge is constantly wet. You dry it out, but... There are bacteria that grow in your sponge. So if you want to disinfect and disinfect it, use hydrogen peroxide. You could hydrogen peroxide by itself would do it, but with the baking soda, it'll it'll get it out of there. So this is dis I disinfect it's disinfected. God, get it together. <laughs> I disinfected the sponge while I was trying to uh get this grime up off the stove. I still got some on there, so I'm gonna take my spatula and I'm gonna try to scrape it off. This coffee pot, man, it just did a number on my stove. It doesn't look like I'm gonna have to use a, um, yeah, I guess that's all that's gonna come up. I'm gonna have to use a razor on there. If that'll work, I think I waited too long. But all in all, it did a good job. If you don't wait as long as me, after multiple burns, <laughs> you'll get it all off. Let me bring you down to let you look at it. It's shiny clean, I'll tell you that. It looks way better than when we started. Oh, I need to bring you back up. Looks way better. Okay, so that's how I clean my stove quickly and efficiently so i don't have to sit here and scrub and scrub and scrub for 30 minutes i just let the hydrogen peroxide the well the dish soap gets all the grease up the hydrogen peroxide and the um the baking soda get all the grime that's stuck on there or most of the grime that's stuck on there up this is clean enough for me it's a working stove a working oven do the best i can to try to keep it clean and i'm gonna go into my next recipe now that I wiped this thing off as best I could for, for today, because I'm not going to stand here and scrub it all day. I just ain't going to do it. So, this is Jamerica 5288.
<laughs> I'm crooked. <laughs> Please like and subscribe. I'm still crooked. <laughs> Perfectionist. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you on my next one. Remember now, take care of yourself and take care of each other. Bye.